This is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. I'll talk to you about this special promotion we have for the end of the year uh, where we're offering free oil analysis with the purchase of an Arch Oil P1 kit. I uh, got together with Polaris Labs and they donated a few hundred of these kits to train a vet. And that's what we're going to talk about here is why is oil analysis so, so important. But you're taking a sample of engine oil, you're putting it in a, in a, in a mailer, okay, and I'll show you how to correctly wrap this so that the post office will take it and you send it to the Polaris Labs. They're going to take this and analyze it looking for certain things and why these things are important send you a report back and then I've got another video that will talk about the report itself. Oil analysis is like a blood test. It's the lifeblood of your engine. When you send your oil in to be analyzed there are several key things that we're looking for. We're looking for first of all contamination. If there's any metal suspended in the oil, aluminum, brass, or iron. Depending on which of these materials in your oil indicates a different issue. And I'm going to lead you through that here in just a minute. Fuel in your oil is a biggie, especially on a DPF equipped truck. Six fours, a lot of six four engines got blown up because the DPF was not functioning correctly. Coolant. If you got coolant in your oil, that indicates a crack, that indicates a bad gasket, it indicates a bad head gasket. This is a biggie, okay? Your EGR cooler can be failing and you'll get coolant in your oil. Oxides. Oxidation is the situation where it's basically rust, okay? If you have a truck that sits up a lot, that doesn't get used a whole bunch, a lot of iron oxide especially, it's just rust in your oil. But it's a time that the oil is worn out, okay? Viscosity. We want to see if the oil has broken down. Viscosity of the oil, the ability of the oil to stand up to the heat and pressures of a modern diesel engine, it's absolutely crucial that they maintain their viscosity. The 6 liter high pressure oil system is absolutely brutal on oil. I have yet to see synthetic or any otherwise any oil go much past 10,000 miles in a 6 liter. If you're running your oil past 10,000 miles, you need this test to make absolutely sure that your oil is holding up. Inside of a power stroke engine, there's hundreds of moving parts that touch each other. There's different materials inside these engines. Now, like the, the pistons are made out of aluminum. Aluminum is a softer metal that rubs against a harder metal, the iron. So, if you see aluminum in your oil, then possibly you have a lubrication problem or a wear problem that's a piston being eaten up. On the front cover where your uh, low pressure oil pump is this, is, this is the oil pump that pulls oil from the bottom of your oil pan and then distributes it, pushes it through the motor. Now, this is iron and this is aluminum. Hard, soft. So if there's a wear issue, what do you think is going to be in your oil? The aluminum. It will it tell you that there's an oiling problem. You also see aluminum in your main and main bearings and connecting rod bearings. This bearing is aluminum and brass. It's got aluminum on the top. The crankshaft here rides in these bearings. This bearing has a film of oil that, that suspends the crankshaft. I mean that oil is absolutely crucial. Now you see right here on this crank and this, this motor died an ugly death, but you see on this crank where there's actually scoring on the crankshaft. Well, that's a bearing failure. Now, it, this particular one was because somebody didn't assemble the engine correctly, but it's an indication of a problem in that area. So, you got a hard material on a soft material, and the initial part of this is aluminum. As this wears down, you will get to the brass. If you see brass in your oil, then you've either got a serious bearing problem or you possibly have a cam bearing problem, which is all brass, or more often than not, brass is an indicator that the bushings inside the turbo are worn out. Think about the engine on the molecular level, okay? You've got iron molecules in the block where your bores are. You've got aluminum molecules in your bearings, brass molecules in your bearings. You've got aluminum molecules in your pistons. This is a soft material, this is a hard material. For the oil to be working correctly, all of the materials need to stay where, they're, where they began. Okay. Any time that you're losing molecules from an aluminum part, whether it's here or at a bearing, 
is an indication that the oil is not functioning correctly. It's all about keeping the molecules where they need to be, where they originally started. The moment that there is a loss of molecules on any of the soft metal parts, aluminum, brass, then it's all downhill from there. Uh, and it's, it's a very key indicator that it's time to, either you're looking at an engine build soon or it's time to trade the vehicle in. Now, iron being exchanged is an even more catastrophic issue because it's a hard material. Nine times out of ten, when you see iron in your oil, it's a lifter. The valve train in a 6 liter and a 6.4 put a lot of load on this, on this part. Uh, especially performance guys, you are messing with fire when you turn up the RPM in a 6 liter or 6.4 because this part right here um, is your weak link. You, you get that engine turning RPM and you start to have valve contact with the pistons, it will load this particular spot right here. Once you start to see iron in your motor oil, end up in your oil pan, whoo, you're looking at camshaft failure. Um, uh, usually what happens in a camshaft failure, this, this part will, will, will damage and then the, the wheel no longer turns and that chews up the camshaft and then the uh, metal gets passed through the engine and it tears the bearings up. So you'll, it's just it's a, it's a catastrophic problem that happens in turning lots of RPM in a 6 liter or 6.4. Inside of a turbocharger, this shaft inside your turbocharger runs on a brass bushing. You have motor oil that comes to the top of this turbo, straight out of the oil pan, lubricates, and then it falls back down out of here and goes straight down into the motor. So if there's any problem with a turbocharger and its failure, it's very often it's going to be the brass out of the inside of this bushing. Let's talk about coolant in the oil for a minute. You have this fancy thing they call an oil cooler. It's really a heat exchanger that exists on the top of your engine underneath your oil filter. If you're starting to see coolant inside of your motor oil, Nine times out of ten in a six liter or six four, it's going to be a failure in one of the seals, usually the seals in the oil cooler. The oil cooler itself very seldom fails. Um, it can get clogged, but it can also get um, seal failure or a or, or problem where the two are mixing up in this area uh, because of a, a, a seal failure. If you're starting to see coolant in your motor oil, you got a problem. Coolant in your oil can also be a function of a crack in the cylinder heads. Um, six liter heads don't crack very often. Um, I, I've, I don't have a, a large scrap rate, but in the six fours, man, you guys with your tuning, son of a gun, you guys will crack one of these heads. Heat will crack this head internally and will cause coolant to enter into the oil system. It'll actually drip into the oil system there. Now, a malfunctioning DPF will clog and it keeps the truck in regen mode which is constantly f pushing fuel into the cylinders. It ends up in the oil. So an indication of high fuel level in your motor oil is could possibly be a malfunctioning DPF. That would be the place I would start. I'm not going to try I'm not trying to scare you guys with 64s, but 6.4 has very unique and peculiar problems because of the systems that are that are installed in them. And one of the things that would indicate that you have an EGR cooler failure is coolant in the oil. Right back here, where the exhaust comes in, comes off the back of the turbo here, it gets hot. Number eight cylinder. Very, very often the EGR cooler will break here and then it will backflow into the number eight cylinder. Now, if it's happening at a very small level and it happens overnight, coolant can get from here into your oil. It's time to take a good hard look at what's going on here. So if you if you have coolant in your oil on a 6.4, pop this loose and see if it's damp inside there with coolant. Uh, it's an indicator that if you let that go, it will kill the motor. It'll bend the connecting rod in number eight. What I'm trying to do here is to bring a heightened awareness to just how valuable the, the oil testing is and what information that you can glean from it. It's a key indicator of future problems. It's no different than taking a blood test uh, for uh, a human being and to see key indicators of, of cholesterol, of heart disease, can cause you health problems in the future. So if you catch it early on before you even see symptoms, then you can make a decision about what's necessary to do. Whether it's your personal health or whether it's your truck's health, it's a key indicator of the vehicle's health. We're trying to get a picture of the health of our vehicle.
Metals, aluminum, brass, and iron. Internal parts of the engine are wearing. Fuel, you got something going on in your fuel system, probably injector cups or a crack somewhere. Coolant, EGR system or a crack somewhere. Oxides, you just run the oil too long. Okay, it's time to change oil, it's worn out. And viscosity, the oil's worn out, it's no good anymore. Especially in 6.0 trucks, viscosity is a key piece. This oil test is an absolute key indicator of the health of your engine. It's very, very important as a power truck owner, especially an older truck, to be aware of what's going on with your truck so that the problems can be addressed before they actually tear the motor up and cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Free Polaris oil analysis with the purchase of P1. Grab that, that credit card that didn't max it out and order some today. So it might be the difference between life and death upon your, on your engine to know right now what you're dealing with if you've got a serious problem or you know it adds to the confidence of knowing that your truck is in the best shape that you can possibly keep it because numbers don't lie ladies and gentlemen. Data, 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 data. Also if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a Power Stroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. Remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for power stroke owners on the internet.